Hey there, um, I'm at my desk today working on some emails, trying to get some paperwork done, and I got an email from my good friend and photographer Joni Simon. It looks like she has a project that would be great for us to work on together. She has a client who owns a restaurant in Phoenix called Miracle Mile Deli, and he wants a photo of his famous pastrami burger. Joni knows how difficult it can be to build such a complex burger, take a picture of it, and try to keep it alive. It can get really stressful, so it just makes sense to have me come down and make the burger and her shoot it. So I guess I'm off to Phoenix. I'm back from Phoenix. It was so hot, but it was so much fun working with Josh, who's a client, and of course Joni and everyone else that helped. That's a question I get asked a lot actually, is how many people are usually on a photo shoot? I would say on average three to six. There's myself, um, there's a photographer, which in this case is Joni. Um, I have an assistant usually. The photographer has at least one assistant. There's a client. Sometimes the client is represented by an ad agency and they'll send an art director. And a lot of times it's all those people. In this case, there was myself, Joni, Josh the client, and all of his restaurant staff really helped us out a lot. Okay, let's talk about the process and how we make this happen. When I shoot in a restaurant, the first thing I do is talk to the client or chef and let them know what I need and how I like to work so things can flow smoothly. So you've got, you got lettuce, tomato, onions, Onion. and then you have the, the, burger, the burger with some cheese, pepper jack, and then you have pastrami with, with some cheese. cheese. Okay, Josh, so we're making this amazing burger today. So what I would need you to do first uh, is make me one so I can see what it looks like. Right. And then what we'll do with that is we'll put it in on set so Joni can get her lights right and then I'll build it according to the, the layers that, and how they go. But what I'd like for you to do is bring me some bun options because we will go through those and pick the best of the best. Okay. We'll go through some of the garnishes. We'll, we'll look at your tomatoes and the lettuce. I brought some too because sometimes you can't control what shows up at your back door and sometimes they're a little pink so I brought some things for that too. So I always make sure I ask the client um, if I'm over promising because it's really easy to get carried away with how much I put on the burger or whatever I'm making because I want it to look good and I want to make sure I see it and of course we cheat things like I'm folding the pastrami in a way that it's really curly so it might be the right amount but I, since I fold it it looks like more but I just need to make sure that I'm not over promising the amount of food that they're going to get because it causes problems for the client because the customers then expect that and when they don't get it then they they get upset so I had to ask him that and he said it was good so we're good to go. I have them build me the first dish which in this case is a burger that I can use as a reference and then give that to the photographer to use to get their lights right. Once the burger's on set we shoot it and then go to the computer so we can see what it looks like. Now, Joni and I are looking at two different things. I'm looking at what the food looks like. I want to make sure everything looks fresh and that it's shiny, that nothing needs to be replaced, that nothing's out of place, that there's not any weird tangents anywhere. I'm looking at the composition as well. Now, Joni's also looking at composition, but she's looking more at the lighting and making sure things are in focus. A little tweaking. This is where I shine it again, replace any cheese or lettuce or anything that has died. And that's it. It's done. And the client loves it. Now let me show you how I built this burger.
Thanks to Josh from Miracle Mile Deli. He has an amazing restaurant with these awesome burgers that you need to check out. And of course, thanks so much to Joni from The Bite Shot for inviting me to come along and participate in this project. Plus, it was just fun hanging out with her. If you haven't seen her video, you need to head on over there now and check it out. The link is below. Thanks for stopping by and check back in again. I have plenty of tips to share with you. We'll see you next time. I'm excited. So it's a monstrosity. Yeah, but he, this is going to be so fun because it has so There's many layers, colors. Layers, colors, mm -hmm. right. Yep.